In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're on volume 12, 3, 23, 21, and we're in the second paragraph. Uh, Jesus just told Louisa, um, that uh, she is little. Uh, the divine will renders the soul little uh, to feel the extreme need for God's holy divine will in order to administer this divine life to them. Uh, and, and in this littleness, uh, they're unable to make one act or one step uh, if the divine will doesn't administer that act or that step to them. So they live completely at the expense of God's holy divine will because their littleness carries no baggage, either of things of their own or love of self, but rather they take everything from God's most holy divine will uh, and not to keep it for themselves, but to give it to, back to Jesus. And that's what, that's what the rounds are. Jesus, pray in my praying. Jesus, beat in my heart beating. Jesus, give this glory and honor to God in me, one with me. And since they need everything, they live dissolved in my most holy divine will. So Jesus, uh, so what happens is um, he says, listen to this. Uh, I went around the earth over and over again. I looked at all creatures one by one, Jesus says. So here he, he shows Louisa that he went through all centuries, past, present, and future, in order to find the littlest soul of all. Next to the My Blessed Mother, Our Lady was the newborn, the firstborn in the divine will. And he says, I'm, I'm looking for a soul born of original sin, he says, uh, who's the littlest of all. And, and no one can take the place of the Blessed Mother. We're not, we're not putting our Louisa there. Our Lady is uh, Theotokos. She's the mother of God. Louisa is the little newborn, the little daughter of the divine will. And he says, so I looked at all, all humanity, one by one, in order to find the littlest of all of humanity, born of original sin. Among many, he says, I found you, Louisa, to be the littlest of all. Here, here's little Louisa, the littlest of all. Um, when, when I was in Corrado, the, the, the thing that astonished me was, was a lot of the women were like Luisa's height and they were all, all around in Karate. It was, it was really wonderful, um, especially at church at, when uh, how all, the, all the ladies would come into church and uh, just take over. It was really, it was really, it was fun. So he says, I looked at all and you were the littlest of all. And she, Jesus says, I, God, liked your littleness and I, God, chose you, Luisa. So here, God loves littleness. He, he loves the babies. He loves the youth. And that's why the, the evil one wants, wants to kill the children, uh, destroy the children, uh, corrupt the children. God loves the little, the, the, the tiny ones. He, he loves uh, humanity so much. And, and what, what the human will does when we live in our human will, the human will takes over and the human will thinks we're pretty good. We're pretty special. We're pretty, we're pretty important. God is special. God is good. God is important. We, we've got to get things back in perspective. We're, we're nothing. If, Oh, I, I'm, I'm so talented. I, I can, I can sing. I can dance. I can, I can paint. I can, I do can do math. Those are angels that God has given us to help us. It's, it's, it's a gift that God has given through the angels. Uh, we're born really with nothing. And, and God is so generous that he gives every person uh, their guardian angel and then special angels to help you. Um, if you can't sing, it's because you don't have an angel that sings. You could pray to the angels and say, you know, can you help me learn how to sing? And, and the angels will come and help. But we are nothing. He, Jesus says, we think we're pretty, we're pretty important. 
And when you look at the universe, when you look at our earth, where we are located, we look at our Milky Way, where we're located, we look at our universe, where we're located, uh, dust doesn't even begin to understand us. We're, we're so much less than dust. Yet God loves us so much that he has breathed into us this rule of God, this breath of God, the spark of life at, at, at conception. And he needs us to begin to understand he is our Lord, our Savior, our Master, our King. He is our God. And um, he's given us his mother, Theotokos, Mary. And, and it's a new beginning for everyone and for everything. So Jesus, Jesus is showing us very, very clearly. He says, I liked your littleness. I chose you, Louisa, because of being so little, so insignificant, so hidden, as Father Bucci says. I entrusted to you, Louisa, my angels, so that they might keep you, not make you grow, but preserve your littleness. So here he, he uh, again, he calls Louisa the newborn, his firstborn. Newborns can't walk. Newborns can't talk. Newborns can't feed themselves. Newborns can't protect themselves. No, newborn need to be uh, uh, protected. And so he says, I entrusted you to my holy angels that they keep you, not to make you grow, but to preserve your littleness, that which I love the most. So what happens to us a lot of times is when we think we're pretty important, God knocks us down to size. Uh, he shows us, he alone is he alone is necessary. He alone is the most important one. And when we begin to understand that, good things happen. Uh, the angels are preserving our littleness as well. Uh, not like Louisa. Louisa was the littlest of all. But God looks at us and he says, do you know what I have planned for you? I have allowed you to uh, be alive at this time. I've allowed you to be pre pre predestined to live at this time to give you the gift of gifts, the prodigy of prodigies. I entrusted to you my angels, my holy angels. And that's what he's done with us as well. Our angels are, are leading us, guiding us uh, to live the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary that was breathed in Louisa. This, this life that God wants us to possess, he really asks us to go to our angels as well to call on our holy guardian angel. I, I call in my holy guardian angel every day. Uh, you got to get to know your holy guardian angel because he is your um, brother companion for all eternity, for all eternity. Uh, he's going to teach you things of heaven and we're going to teach the angel things of earth. See, we are great, a great mystery to the angels as the angels are a great mystery to us. And, uh, uh, when, when the angels had to, when their, their test was to, to be faithful to God or to turn against God, that was their test. Once they made that decision, there was no mercy. It, God says, this is where you belong now. Those that in heaven stayed in heaven. Those had to leave heaven and basically go to hell. Jesus says to us, basically, uh, when Adam sinned, the devil was really pleased. I destroyed what God wanted and God had mercy and the angels never saw mercy. What is this mercy? And then when the angels saw uh, Jesus on earth, God becoming man, they, they still, they still bow in reverence to God as we uh, kneel and, and bow during the creed and the, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. The, the angels are astonished by this mercy of God. And then in the Blessed Sacrament, they realize this is God Almighty. That's why at Holy Mass, the church is filled with angels, adoring God, loving God, praising God, thanking God, glorifying God, worshiping God. And that's what they teach us. Uh, go to your holy angels. Uh, again, it's very, very important that we learn from them the way of heaven. So he says to us, and he said to Louisa, I entrust you to my holy angels that they might keep you, not to make you grow, but to preserve your littleness, to preserve your, your purity. And now I want to begin the great work, Jesus says, 
of the fulfillment of my most holy divine will. So he says this, he says again, now I want, now is the time he's doing this. That's why time is coming to an end. The new and divine way of holiness is coming. A new and powerful life for humanity is coming again to humanity. This is sanctification. This is what Adam had before the fall. God had to find a human who could possess this life that Adam had before the fall. And so what does he do? He comes to earth as the new Adam and comes to the, our lady comes as the new Eve. And they look for a soul, a human born of original sin that they can give this life to. And 2000 years later, they find Louisa. I want to begin now, he says, I want to begin the great work of the fulfillment of my divine will on earth as it is in heaven. This is what he's done with Louisa. And he's asked us to be alive at this time. He says, nor shall you feel greater because of this. On the contrary, my divine will shall make you even smaller, more little, more insignificant, more hidden. And you shall continue to be the little daughter of your Jesus, the little daughter of my divine will. And that's what Jesus is calling us to do. He's calling us to, to begin to live this life of little sons and daughters, little kings and queens of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the Queen of Heaven and Earth. It's a new and divine way of holiness that the saints, a lot of the saints wanted to live in the end times. And it's not the end of the world. It's the end of this era, as Our Lady said to Bruno in 1947, Our Lady of Revelation. And if you haven't read about Our Lady of Revelation, read it. It's just astonishing. Good things are coming. Great things are coming for those who love Jesus. It will be ecstasy. For those that don't want what Jesus and Mary want, it will be wailing and grinding of teeth. So how can something happen, two different results? It's, it's dependent, it depends on where the soul is. If the soul wants God, it's going to be ecstasy. If the soul doesn't want God, wants themselves, it's misery. Wailing and grinding of teeth. You don't want to be there. So Jesus has asked us to grow closer to him by reading, studying, and putting into practice the truths that he gave to Louisa in the book of heaven. Read, study, uh, enter into this, as he says, now I want to begin the great work of the fulfillment of my divine will. That's what he's doing. And he's allowed us to be alive at this time. Great things are coming. Amazing things are coming. And Jesus needs us to get ready for this. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. We pray for the uh, great strength, the invincible strength of living in the divine will and never doing our human will. And we pray that this prayer becomes God's command. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you.